other end for Temple, Diane Richardson in her second season at Temple. The Owls went 11 and 18 a season ago. It's 6 and 10 in AAC play. They felt like they didn't have the correct pieces. They had some departures as well midseason. And tip is up and we're off and running in Oxford and literally Marquisha Davis running to the, to the basket. And Temple comes down with the rebound. What should we expect from the Temple Owls tonight on offense, Lindsay Kate? Yeah, I'm expecting a fast basketball game. They like pushing in transition. They like getting shots off before Ole Miss's defense gets set up. I want to see fast but patient basketball. Nelson's first shot tonight off the mark. Rebound by K.K. Deans, one of eight new faces for Ole Miss this season and one of three Power 5 transfers, one of two SEC transfers. Transfer from Florida. Ole Miss fell to Oklahoma. They were upset 80-70. to Ole Miss dipped 11 spots in the AP poll down to 23. And Deans knocks down the jumper for Ole Miss. What works with a lot of new faces on this Ole Miss team? Ole Miss on top, 3 nothing. 8.48 to play in the first quarter. Another jumper off the mark for the Owls. Marquisha Davis, six-foot senior from McGehee, Arkansas. Second year with Ole Miss and Arkansas transfer. Carissa Richardson getting the start tonight for the Rebels. Nice hook shot in the lane. Temple in offense in their first three games, averaging 77 points per game. Entry pass intended for Rain Tucker, intercepted by Ole Miss. Richardson to the lane and draws the foul. You know, no ceilings is Coach Yo's tagline for her whole coaching career, and she, Maddie Scott laughed. She said, I don't mean to use the word no ceilings, but <laughs> she literally, her game has no ceilings. That's the best way to describe it. <laughs> and watching her play, it's hard to believe that she's just a sophomore. The transfer coming to Ole Miss. She said the culture, the family-like atmosphere, I really liked. And that's why Oxford appealed to me. The Owls love the three ball, averaging seven three-point makes per contest. That leads the AAC. Demi Washington, the Vanderbilt transfer, drops it home for the Owls. That's a familiar face for us. Jake, we remember her from Vanderbilt. Tough player, a captain on this Temple team. Son of Collins on the floor now for Ole Miss. Picks up her first two points tonight. Piper lets it fly. Temple has opened this game one for five shooting. Make it one for six. Yeah, definitely not typical Temple basketball. Those are shots that they can knock down. Definitely can put some points on the board. Tucker started her career at James Madison and transferred to Towson, where Diane Richardson was the head coach. And once Coach Rich moved to Temple, Tucker decided to transfer again. But she had to sit a year because of she transferred twice. The three by East. And she's fouled by Snuda Collins. Kind of a hockey lineup change. Multiple people out, multiple people in for Ole Miss. That's like the third time that we have seen that already in this game. I think Coach Yo making these mass substitutes and is trying to figure out what's what's going to work for her. T.R. East, her second. Also Ty Singleton in for Ole Miss as well. See T.R. East's numbers this season through three games. She goes three for three at the line. They lost to Louisville, and actually Louisville's coming to town. Not too, uh, I believe, next week. Yes. A couple of, uh, not, not too far away. Both Diane Richardson, head coach for Temple, and Yolette McPhee McEwen for Ole Miss. Both coaches know each other personally as Davis forces the turnover and finds the bottom. Great shot. Another aggressive play by Ole Miss's defense. Coach Yolette McPhee McEwen challenged her team today, too. She said, look, we got to get back to what we do best, and that's play defense. Yes, play defense. Use your defense to create points on the offensive end. Get those easy transition layups. That's the kind of defense that Coach Yolette wants to see every possession. John Quell. I love that story. Isn't that a small world? A small world, and what a tie to have. I mean, it's an incredible, incredible tie. Madison Scott draws the foul. She'll have two free throws coming. I think you're going to throw it her tonight then, right? And, and she said, you know what? She probably does. <laughs> oh. Coach Rich, she's just an incredible woman. 
Gary at the foul line. Couldn't score. Basket is not being conned to Temple early on. Davis, coast to coast, roll this. No help side defense would have been there if they could have just made that pass, but instead it got a little sloppy around the perimeter, and yet another turnover. Nine combined turnovers in this first quarter. That's frustrating. Remember, both teams force over 20 turnovers per game. They only cough it up 13 times. Nice move by East. And draws the foul. Doing it inside the arc, which is... Was majority three-pointers. I feel like Coach Yo gave her permission to work and drive and create her own shot more. East knocks down both free throws for Temple. And the Owls are five for five from the line to open up this game. Avias to the basket. How about the freshman? I feel like that is the move that everybody has been waiting to see. If Leish came into this game, into this team with magnifying glass on her. Taylor, 5'5", five, five freshman. Misses the first. Misses both. Scott, tippy toe. Something Diane Richardson talked a lot about, too. We're, a lot of our players are scoring. We love the the equal opportunity. Yeah, she has created herself a team full of diversity. Pass intended for Ibakwe, and she's called for is it keeping their legs fresh, or is it just finding... I think she's trying to find her flow. Okay. I think after that Oklahoma game, I mean, she wants somebody to prove prove themselves to her. Ole Miss gave up 80 points to Oklahoma, lost by 10. Colin Lane, two free throws. But now they're taking it to the basket, doing a good job of getting themselves to the line. Foul line, so... Six of their ten points now make it seven of their eleven are from the foul line. Ah, that's working. I know that a focus after this quarter is going to be for Coach Yo, do not foul and take care of the basketball because those two areas are getting Ole Miss in trouble. Dean's down low to Richardson and one. Count it. Richardson who's at the line and Kennedy Todd Williams. Everyone foresaw it. <laughs> I love that, you know, Coach Yo didn't think that she actually had a chance with her, but it was somebody in Todd Williams' circle that reached out to Yo and said, look into this. Offensive foul call. Here she is with the ball, dumps it down low to Richardson. Just too strong on the bunny. And Ayanna Thompson commits her seven for nine at the charity strike this evening. 68% free throw shooting team, Temple, second in the AAC. Knocking it down tonight. Sometimes I feel like free throws are a dying art, but Temple making the most of them. Nine of their 13 points from the charity stripe this evening. Beautiful move, KK Deans. Tristan Taylor set the trigger for Temple. Seven seconds left to go in the opening quarter. End of Molina. Still three seconds left. East with it. Long Eads, her shot's blocked by Scott. 24-13, Ole Miss. It is. Yeah, absolutely. It's not a Collins. Two personal fouls for Ole Miss. She scored 16 points per game in the first two games for Ole Miss. And also Ayanna Thompson, the talented sophomore, also with two personal fouls. Deans dumps to Richardson. She's been very involved tonight. Richardson with seven of her team's 24 points leads the way. Shot clock down to eight. Deans, step back. Oh, that was pretty. Her four to take control and make something happen. And she's a scorer as a point guard, too. Not so much the facilitator that Maya Taylor was last year. Yeah, she's got that scores mentality. A nice response by Tiara. Beautiful step back. That's the thing about Temple. They keep answering back. Deans from deep. Yes, she had 7% from the floor in the first quarter. Offensive board by Washington, and she puts it in. Count it. Around five points per game in her time there. But she brings length, and her length in the AAC it's a lot different than length in the SEC. Absolutely. That SEC experience that she's taken to Temple is worth a lot more. Alana Eden's first two points tonight. In fact, her first two points of the season for Ole Miss. 
And a walk called on Rain Tucker. There, there as well. A contact. They, yes. they may have an argument. <laughs> Eaton step back. Scott offensive rebound. And draws the foul. Second team all SEC a season ago. All defensive team as well in the conference. Double-double against Queens to open up the season. Seven points, eight boards against Oklahoma. Game from blocking a shot like that right there. She said, we've got to get back to that. That's who we are. Scott coast to coast. Foul's called, and it's offensive in, I should say, her first life, right? And then she decided one day, you know, I think I want to take a stab at this coaching thing that's well, every story i keep hearing about her <laughs> makes me love her a little bit more also qualified for the olympics back in the day but didn't get the run because the united Got states had other shots yeah i feel like they're doing a good job of getting the open looks like that there's two points tonight so far averaging 11 and a half through the first two games for Ole miss rebels lead built back up to 15 Shot clock down to eight for Temple. Here's East. Temple with the handoff to Gary. Long three by Gary. Deans tracks down the rebound. Ten points for KK Deans for Ole Miss. She leads the way. Gives to Davis. She's turned away at the baseline. Three and a half to go until halftime. Beautiful feed to Ibakwe. How about that? It's off to Tucker and she misses short. Ball still alive, though. Gary with the rebound for Temple. Nelson looking for her first points tonight, and she gets them. Quick release. Four threes on the season for Nelson. Ibakwe gets the feet underneath. It's almost like she was cherry-picking. East up top. Shut down by Singleton. Here's Nelson. Wants another. It's off the mark. Two minutes to go until halftime. Temple's field goal percentage in this first half down to 24%. They're 6 for 25. And a team that hits 31% of their threes this season, they're just 1 for 9. Feeling we've seen a lot of those 5 in, 5 out substitutions. Coach, you're trying to figure out what works. These are Connecticut. Davis misses the second. It's Nelson, step back. Ole Miss out rebounding Temple 19 to 14 in this first half. Ole Miss's rebounding margins plus 13 this year. Sixth in the SEC. Noel airmails it. Davis there to clean it up. Currents off the mark. Her first shot attempt tonight. Temple. With a scoring drought of over two minutes. They're one of their last seven. Richardson goes to work. Loses the handle. Currents up the floor for Temple. Long three. Good. Give it to Gary. The Owls hit seven threes a game. That leads the American. Tonight they just have two. Avish off the mark, 17 seconds left, and Scott gets in a tie-up with Solis. 13 seconds left, no shot clock for Temple. Tristan Taylor on the handle, finds Gary, off the mark. Currents, and the Owls unable to get a shot off at the end of this first half. Gets her miss. And a kick out to Deans. Refresh 20 for Ole Miss. But they're not going to use all 20 of it. I'm on Richardson showing. And all in non-overtime games in the regular season last year. So giving up 80 points. That's very uncharacteristic of this program in general. Richardson off to the strong. Temple has 13 points. Nine of her 13 points are from the foul line tonight. Gary long three. Tucker offensive board tries. Third time. It's a charm. Temple doing every reverse layup. 
And Dean strikes it down. She was shoved out of bounds. I swear I've done this before, Lindsay. I, I promise. You rookie. <laughs> That's a three. Switches down. Third three of the night for Temple. Down 47-31 to Ole Miss. Rebels fell 11 spots in the AP poll. As while she was in the SEC, she earned SEC Academic Honor Roll twice in her three years at Vanderbilt. Scored just two points against Ole Miss with the Commodores last season. There's a three, deep one by Ray. Todd Williams thought about it. Gives to Ibakwe. Hand off to Deans. Juan and Ibakwe, but it goes out of bounds. Great defense by Ole Miss. Temple breaks the full court press. Dump to Tucker. Now to East. Finishes right in the rim. Three for Singleton. Way off. Shot clock at seven. Here's Deans. Four seconds. Shots blocked, but, it's, but she's fouled. Punched in the face and see what they're made of. You know, I see why they call them cupcakes. <laughs> Yes. But I know it's not good for me. Yes. And those in attendance give her the common free. Temple, though, still outscoring Ole Miss in this third quarter, 10 to 8. Aliyah Nelson, we highlighted her to begin the broadcast because of how she can score. She's a three level scorer, Ole Miss said. Yeah, that's the great thing about this Temple team. They're so diverse when it comes to their scoring. A lot of different players can put a lot of points on the board. Coach Richardson said that too, three-pointer off the side of the backboard. She said, you know, Aaliyah Nelson's numbers have taken a hit because she's unselfish. She wants everyone around her to do so well. Singleton scores off balance. Collins picked up two fouls right away. She's only played in five minutes tonight. Three is down for Temple's East. It's nine. Collins, two free throws coming for her. Tonight, just two points. I'll give her three. Collins has only played six minutes tonight. That foul trouble, that has slowed her down. He tried the backdoor cut to Tucker, and a foul in the backcourt. She told her team that, too, at shoot-around this morning. Well, that's the great thing about the transfer portal, figuring out what works and what doesn't work. East, spin move. And Temple touched it last. Richardson saved it from going out of bounds. Avish, little tap back. I like to see it. Good tip. Currents off front iron. And Temple saved it from going out of bounds. Ole Miss runs with it. A minute to go in the third quarter. It's been all Ole Miss tonight. And Todd Williams. Kennedy Todd Williams, 50 points away from reaching 1,000 points for her career. East uses the screen. Nice high smooch off the window. And Ole Miss quickly into the front court. One second difference between shot clock and game clock. Stevenson, shut down by Taylor. Ten seconds left. Loses her dribble. Here's Davis. Swish. Final seconds in the third quarter. Half court heave. And we head to the final ten minutes tonight in Oxford. It's all Ole Miss. So every loose ball, I want to see bodies hitting the floor. Scott goes to work for Ole Miss. 
Gets away to Stevenson. Backdoor feed to Ibakwe. Perfectly drawn up. But Sakaya Stevenson, one assist away from tying her career high. Washington twirls to the basket and gets a foul. 14 points for Demi Washington tonight. Up the floor quickly to Marquisha Davis. What a find. What a pass. My goodness, my goodness. She's playing above her league right now. Both teams run out of the gate here in the fourth quarter. Putting up points. One minute in. Collins sinks the three, her first of the night. Taylor did not use the screen and said, touch the three and puts it through. She's nine for nine. Davis. All the way to Collins. Bullseye. Now Sonetta Collins starting to heat up. She's the fourth Ole Miss Rebel with ten or more points. Quickly the other end. Temple. A little too strong. Second chance for Richardson. Free throws coming for her. Running from a ACL tear from last season. That free throw. And there you have it. <laughs> it's a 20-point game, but the pace of the game is not slowing down at all. Nelson, the other end. Scott's off the mark. Ibakwe refresh 20 for Ole Miss. And she drops it in. Ibakwe with a block. She denies Washington. Scott up the floor for Ole Miss. Finds Deans in transition. Bang! Taylor can't respond for Temple, and K.K. Deans pulls down her seventh rebound with her tied team high 16 points. Feeds Ibakwe. A near and one. All 33 games, three points of contest. But logged 150 rebounds, four and a half per game season. East with 24 points tonight, leads the way for Temple. And she gets stripped. Up the floor to Scott. Coast to coast. Scott puts it in. And Ole Miss up to 80 points tonight. Molina is fouled. Good job by Molina. So after getting 80 points dropped on the... Eighty to fifty-seven, Ole Miss. After the split pair by Molina, that also ends Ole Miss's seven-zero scoring run. And Singleton throws it away up top to Piper. Trudges to the basket and it's too strong. Somehow gets her miss back, puts it puts it through. Wait for a second. Yeah. Pass deflected. Molina all alone. This is gonna take some getting used to. Another turnover for Ole Miss. Deja vu for Molina. Oh, Ole Miss wanted a bounce back win after falling to Oklahoma by 10 points last week. And they drop 80 on Temple. And that's all she wrote from Oxford. 80-63 final. Number 23, Ole Miss.